Bringing you competition among the finest bowlers in the world. It's the Professional Bowlers Tour. This ABC Sports Exclusive is brought to you by Ebonite, makers of the famous Ebonite Gyro, the only ball that's gyro-balanced for precise delivery control every frame, every game. By the STP Corporation, makers of world-famous STP oil treatment and other fine products for your car. And by Lincoln Mercury, where cars are built better to ride better at the sign of the cat. Square Garden in New York City, ABC Sports brings you the exciting final rounds of the BPAA United States Open, another of the tournaments in the Professional Bowling Association's 1973 Tour. And now let's meet the five tournament leaders who will be competing for that top prize money in the United States Open. And incidentally, between them, a total of 58 PBA titles. First in the number five position from Hartford, Wisconsin, he's won 11 championships. Here he is, Dick Ritker. And now, Dick will be meeting the fourth-ranked bowler who happens to be the all-time money winner, the all-time champion, Dick Weber from St. Louis. The winner of that first game will challenge the number three bowler from El Cerrito, California. He has seven titles to his name, Mike McGrath, a left-hander. The winner of this match will challenge the number two man in the tournament. He's won 12 times in 1967. He won here. Personable Dave Davis of Miami, Florida. And the winner of that semifinal game will try to bowl his way past the first place uh, for the first place money against the tournament leader, five-time winner, Earl Anthony of Tacoma, Washington. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Shankle, and it's nice to be back at uh, this multi-million dollar sports complex called Madison Square Garden. This is a great championship because it represents the Bowling Proprietors Association of America and they are great folks. We meet them as we travel coast to coast each year. A lot of money at stake today and a man that knows all about that and this is sort of an offshoot of what was once the All-Star Tournament. Here's a man that really won the first one. Our colleague on our ABC telecast each Saturday afternoon, wealthy Billy Whalo. Oh, thank you, Chris. Good afternoon, everyone. I don't know about that wealthy. Uh, if I could say wealthy, you said the man that won the first one. I was very, very lucky because I was fortunate to win the Open the first year that it was on television. It was still called the National Individual Match Game Championship. What he didn't tell you is I blew it a couple of times, too. And I lost to Dick Weber in a playoff in Kansas City in 63. After 100 games, that man beat me. This is a great championship. Many years ago, this tournament was the only tournament to play in, the only tournament to win. You prayed and practiced all year to go to the All-Star to try to win it, to get an exhibition contract to go around the country and make a few dollars. You see what it's come to now, playing in the great sports palace that we're here today. It's called the U.S. Open. It's transcended names like Connie Schwegler, Buddy Bomar, Ned Day, the great Junie McMahon just across the Hudson living in New Jersey. I could go on and on. We don't have the time. Today, the story and the big thing, there are two men who have won this championship four times. Don Carter, Dick Weber. Barra Papa won it at 56, back to back. But two men, four times. Dick Weber here today has a chance to break that tie and become the only man ever to win the U.S. Open five times. Can he do it? There's five great men here today, four in front of him. Billy, you're wound up today. I can't wait to hear your comments. <laughs> I wish you'd been my history professor. Oh, Chris, this is the greatest championship in bowling. Great prestige. A lot of money elsewhere, but everybody wants to win the Open. Okay, Houston. In addition to all the money, there's a beautiful trophy that will go to the winner, and we'll crown him during the next one hour and a half here on ABC. So the man to beat today, the tournament leader, Earl Anthony. We'll be back for the start of the action, live and in color, on the Professional Bowlers Tour.
Madison Square Garden. In the number five position from Hartford, Wisconsin, Dick Ritker. In the very first game, he will meet that great champion from St. Louis, Dick Weber. Now, the winner of that game will meet the number three man in our championship, Mike McGrath of California. The winner of that game will have to go against another left-hander named Dave Davis from Miami. And then waiting in the wings, the tournament leader, Earl Anthony of Tacoma, Washington. So that's the way it's set.